This is a review of the Metacon 7 training shoe from Nike and also the Metacon 6. I've been weight training in this pair of Nike Metacon 6s for approximately a year and a half and I bought this pair to have in reserve on sale really cheap for 80 bucks. That's why I have two pair. And in the meantime, I tried on a pair of Nike Metacon 7s and they felt so far superior to the Metacon 6 that I went ahead and bought a pair anyway. The reason I like Nike Metacons for resistance training is they have the most solid platform out of any of the shoes I tried. It's the best for leg day, and for doing calf raises and anything that puts a ton of stress on your feet. I got really fussy feet because I have some foot issues that I developed from relentless trail running, running thousands of kilometers every year trail running. I managed to give myself neuromas in both feet. So my feet are a little fussy now. I tried the Reebok Nanos. I've tried Adidas. I've tried all the other brands of resistance weight training shoes and none of them are as comfortable as the Nike Metacon. Now I know Nike is the big sweatshop company. They don't need any help whatsoever, but if you have foot issues like me, I just thought it'd be helpful knowing that these shoes are damn near perfect for weight training if you have foot issues like I do. So the Metacon 6 comes with an uber stiff sole, which is awesome for weight training. And they also have these heel lifts for leg days. I don't use the heel lifts. I find they have tons of support just as they are. Now you can still find the Metacon 6. If you find them on sale for less than hundred bucks, grab a pair. They're an excellent deal. But the Metacon 7 is a huge improvement over the Metacon 6. It's an even stiffer sole, which is awesome for a great stable base doing like really heavy deadlifts or squats. I have tried actual $250, $300 weightlifting shoes from Adidas and Reebok, and I find the Metacon perform even better. They're lighter, they breathe better, the mesh is better. You can still use them to do cardio, although I will say the Metacon 6 and 7 aren't the best feeling shoes to do cardio in because the soles are so stiff. You can run in them, in a pinch, but obviously if you want to do treadmill running or any kind of running indoors, you're better off going with an actual running shoe. These are best for weight training. I did see Nike has released the Metacon 8 just in time for Christmas, but they appear to have the exact same sole and the exact same other than different colors. So if you see the Metacon 7 on sale or even the Metacon 6, grab a pair. Do not pay $200 for these shoes. Do not even pay $150 for these shoes. If you watch, you can get them on sale for $99.99, more often than not. You just gotta be patient. And if you do see them for that cheap, pick up an extra pair, have them in reserve. And if you're looking for a great all around resistance training shoe, these are pretty sweet. Hope you found this review of the Nike Metacon 6 and 7 useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.